If you receive a refund due to excess funds, it's a great idea to build out a budget to make sure you have enough money for all of the expenses you need to pay and to understand where your money is being spent. First, take a look at your fixed expenses. Fixed expenses are things such as rent, cell phone payment, or things that don't vary each month. Next, gather your variable expenses, which are things that can vary per month, like food expenses, transportation costs, credit card bills, and monthly spending. Once you have all of those figures listed, you can begin building your budget. Your budget allows you to see clearly where your money needs to go, and understanding where your refund money is going is important. There is a great budgeting resource available to you on iGrad, our financial education resource. You can access iGrad via your NYU home account. Just simply search for iGrad in the upper right hand corner, and once logged in, you can click on the interactive budgeting worksheet. Once you have a budget created, be sure to stick to it to ensure you're maximizing your refund. This way, you'll be able to determine if the refund you've received exceeds your actual anticipated expenses. If this is the case, and your refund was due to a student loan, remember that you have 120 days from the day your loan was dispersed to return it without penalty to the federal government. This is a great way to ensure you reduce your overall debt burden in the long run. You may also consider putting the refunded amount into your savings or checking account. If you don't have a bank account, now is a great time to open one. Holding onto your refund amount is a good safety net for extra costs related to your education. Consider also spending it on books or school supplies. Supplies might include notebooks, calculators, or even a new computer if you need one. Use these excess funds on living expenses. Whether you live on or off campus, housing is expensive. Rent, groceries, meal plans, utilities, insurance. Make sure you're still budgeting and only paying for what you absolutely need. If you need assistance with budgeting your refund or creating a financial plan, you can always speak to our Office of Financial Education.